good Sunday morning, actually. Welcome to Mondays with Mason. We're doing this a day early because it's I didn't want to film on New Year's, so Happy New Year to all you guys. And we're doing Mondays with Mason a day early. Next week, we will return to our normal Monday schedule. So that will happen next week. You will see a normal episode on Monday. So yeah, we'll get to that next week. Anyway, though, for today's episode, the reason that I wanted to do an episode today instead of tomorrow is the college football playoff predictions. So, so this one's going to be for my college football playoff prediction. At the last minute following last night's Lions-Cowboys game, I thought about doing one on NFL officiating because that was a pathetic call at the end, as we all know. However, I think I'm going to want to delay that one till sometime later in January, probably the 15th. We'll do that edition because next week will be my national championship prediction, so we'll preview the national championship and then I don't have anything currently moving forward, so we'll do that probably in two weeks. So, yeah. Anyway, though, looking at it now, let's talk about the semifinal games tomorrow. First, let's start off with the Rose Bowl game, that being Alabama and Michigan. I think this is going to be a good game. I think it's going to come down to the wire. However, Jim Harbaugh really does struggle in the playoffs. He's been in Ohio State for years in a row. He's won the Big Ten Championship now for years in a row. Two years in a row, though, because obviously not counting this year, he's lost the playoff game he's played in. He just trips up in the college football playoff for some rhyme or reason. The Big Ten has, or the SEC has dominated the Big Ten in bowl games. Just look at Ole Miss and look at Missouri beating Ohio, or Penn State and Ohio State, respectively. I think the SEC gets the best out of them. And look, even last night, I know it wasn't Big Ten, but Georgia, they beat up on Florida State. I know Florida State was down a lot of guys, but... Still, at the same time, I mean, yeah, I mean, that was bad. So, SEC is dominant. I have to pick Alabama in this game. Give me Alabama. In terms of the next semifinal game, we got Texas at Washington. This will be a good one for sure. Can't wait to see Michael Penix Jr. He's one of my favorite quarterbacks in the class of 24, the draft class. So, that will be interesting for sure. However, in the end, I think that Washington is the better team. Texas is talented. I know Quinn Ewers, Xavier Worthy, Tavion Sanders, I think that's his name. That offense and even defense have impressed at times. However, I just don't think Texas has it. Washington's a powerful team. They proved that by beating Oregon twice. I have to take the Washington Huskies in this one. Give me Washington. Therefore, I predict your national championship game for this season will be the Alabama Crimson Tide and the Washington Huskies. So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today for this week's episode of Mondays with Mason. I'm sorry this episode was so quick. Just want to do a quick one for New Year's, you know, with the holiday being tomorrow and all that. <clears throat> and I wanted to get these predictions out there, so I figured it would be an okay episode to do. Nice and quick for you guys. So, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Keep up, the, Keep the views coming. Going strong into 2024, that's for sure. Some of my content, though, once NFL is over, we'll cut back a little bit on some content. However, Mondays with Mason will be one thing that does stay. That's year-round, and that will be going strong year-round. But that's all I have for you guys today. Have a good one. Take care. Stay safe. Happy New Year. Pray for Israel. And as always, peace. See you guys next week.